Yo, what is going on everyone? It's Wraith here, back with another video. So now recently, I've been getting a ton of comments, and when I ask what you guys want to see for videos, a lot of people have been replying, how do I play aggressively, or how do I just play and perform well on high ping? Now unfortunately, you are at a quite a bit of a disadvantage, especially comparable to like 10 ping or 0 ping. It is quite a bit more difficult than, like I said, playing on a lower ping, but there is still things you can do to actually help and improve even though you're on high ping. There's still a couple pro players, obviously not a ton of pro players, but for example, Nanolite, like he's a really high ping player and he does absolutely unreal not so much on online tournaments but even on land tournaments and even on online tournaments he does semi decent like he doesn't finish top one normally or top three normally but he does pretty consistently so if you're looking forward to this video make sure you slap a like button comment what you want to see for a future video check out my twitter link if you guys aren't already following it and let's get right into the video so for my first tip is you have to be unpredictable in box fights so unfortunately, you don't have the luxury to just go onto someone's wall, pickaxe it, and try and time it, and take their wall, and then throw in a ramp, or throw in a cone, or whatever the case is. Unfortunately, that's just not how it works on high ping, right? So obviously, you can do that, and it might take six, seven tries, but by that point, they've already left the box, they've already edited it on you, or they're just going to hold it and waste time, wait for a third party, wait for storm, or whatever the case is, right? So what you need to be doing is you need to be unpredictable, and you need to be doing this in practice when you're box fighting your friends, when you're box fighting off Discord, whatever the case is, right? So what you need to be doing is, for example, is going to their wall, pretending to take their wall, you hit the wall once, jump over, like, place a ramp on the side of their box, go to the other opposite side of their box, so they're forced to turn around, take that wall, but even if they hold it, then you have to go back to that original wall that you already damaged and then take it. Or if, for example, you damage the wall once and then take their cone or something like that, right? If you just stick on one piece of the wall or one mat, well, then you're never going to be able to take that wall or that cone or whatever the case is, or that floor, right? But if you actually start moving around, trying different pieces of their boxes by pretending to take a cone here, by taking their left wall, by taking their white right wall, by taking the wall like to the back or whatever the case is, right? Just doing different things that allow them to actually have to move around not being able to make a clean edit on you will just give you so much more of a chance of taking their wall and just being unpredictable is very difficult to do but if you can actually master it it's really really good because it is very difficult to actually just follow where a player is if they're taking your wall to your right if they're taking a wall to your left if they're taking your cone or whatever the case is right being unpredictable is just so underrated and so so important to do especially on high ping now my next tip, and I've talked about this a couple times in my previous videos, is you need to have really good peace control. So peace control is basically if someone decides to, if you're fighting someone and they decide to leave their box, or you guys are in a build fight or something like that, is getting a cone floor on them or taking the wall before they even know you have it, right? So for example, if they're inside of their box and you're just like waiting for them to make a play and they leave to the left side of their box, throwing in a cone floor on the left side where they leave before they can is just so so important because that way you can just edit on them and they have no idea you have the cone floor because they've already placed theirs and they think they have it but you've already placed it right so if you can get the cone floor in already or if you can get in a wall when they least expect it and you can edit on them when they least expect it well then that's a free kill or free really good damage right so if they just leave and they just keep boxing up over and over again, but you're not taking any walls, you're not taking any cone floors, whatever the case is, well then eventually you're just not going to kill them, right? But if you can place a wall or place in a cone floor before they do, and then you edit on them before they even know you have that build piece, it's just going to give you such a big advantage. Now you can do this if you're on low ping, if you're on high ping, but on high ping it's especially important because you can't be taking the walls 24-7. So now my next tip is you need to learn how to phase. Now Benji Fishy, even though he is on low ping, does this so, so well, and you guys definitely need to start learning it as well. So if he hits someone for a lot of damage, he literally will practice just throwing in a ramp right underneath him, breaking the wall as he jumps up and the ramp pushes him forward through the box and it phases him into their box. Now obviously you don't want to be doing this when they're 200 HP because then it's a little bit of a 50-50 and unless you're on a controller and you have an SMG or the drum gun and even then it's a little bit scary because you can get 200 pumped or whatever the case is. But if you can learn how to phase, like say for example you hit someone 99 with your AR or you pump someone for 100 and they box up. 
on a high ping, you're not going to have the luxury of taking their wall, right? So if you can practice phasing through their box and getting in and getting in that, yes, unfortunately, 50-50, but with high ping, you don't really have much of a choice. Well, then it's just going to allow you to have such a higher chance of winning the fight overall. So learn phasing by, again, doing box fighting, watching pro players like Benji, etc. See how he likes to do it. And then trust me, putting that into your gameplay will allow you to do so much better. So now my next tip would be working on your rotations and end game placement. So unfortunately, it is very difficult to play or to play aggressive as a high ping player. Now, like I said, it's not like you can't play aggressive. You still can. It's just you have to do a lot of small tricks that take a while to kind of perfect, like peace control, like being unpredictable, um, the ramp phasing, things like that. It is quite a bit difficult, and it is hard to do every single fight, especially the odd time when you're like 50-50 into someone and they'll just 200 pump you or 180 you or whatever the case is, right? So learning how to play a little bit more placement instead of going for kills is super, super important. Now, unfortunately, if you are a, are a high ping player and you like playing aggressive, like I said, you still can. But in my opinion, if you're a high ping player, going for the placement is just so much more intelligent because it's so much easier to do. And yes, you still have to box fight and stuff like that. And you're still going to fight people. But if you play for placement, it definitely will kind of negate your ping a little bit more because you don't have to be worrying about taking walls or holding walls as much if you're playing for placement. Like I said, there's still going to be fights. You're still going to have to push people. You're still going to get pushed. But if you're not actively W keying people, well, then your ping doesn't matter as much consistently because if you're just playing for placement, learning how to rotate, and you're a really good rotator. You know how to tarp. You know how to like take height or when not to take height or play low ground or play mid ground well then you're going to get some free placement point that other people won't be getting because they're so focused on box fighting 1v1ing and i'm not saying that play style is not important being able to w key and be aggressive is super important but with high ping you're gonna have to sacrifice that just a little bit and play a little bit more towards the placement side of things which isn't that big of a deal like if you can get some kills end game by shooting your ar looking back at people rotating in or when someone's not paying attention and popping minis in their box, you just dump in their box with an SMG or something like that, or your pump, well then it's easy kills, right? You can still get top five with two to three kills easily by just getting end game kills where you don't have to rely on your ping. So then my next tip is kind of like I said it in the back part or the first couple tips, is you need to watch players and VOD review players who play on high ping. So personally, the person I would recommend the most would be Nanolite. Um, he is just an absolute placement warrior as well as he can get kills when he needs to like it's not like he just doesn't play aggressive or doesn't get kills but he definitely is more towards the placement style of play and he is a high ping player and I personally recommend watching him and tell me even I watch him just because he is so intelligent with his rotations and he is so smart endgame with his tunnels when where to tunnel what level to tunnel if he needs to drop down or go up but it's just super important watching someone who kind of mimics your play style because they're forced to because of their high ping so obviously if you watch someone like benji fishy yes you're still going to learn things you're still going to learn how to play how to rotate how to take fights etc but it is going to be a little bit different just because he's on zero ping and you're on 60 to 70 ping or 50 ping well he, you're going to have a different play style than him right you're going to do different things in boxes you can do different things in build fighting so if you can watch someone who plays on high ping see how they take fights see how they rotate see what they do in specific scenarios well then you're going to be able to incorporate that into your own gameplay and play so much better so now my last tip, and this is going to be a little bit of a controversial one because this is kind of taken away from the aggressive style, but if you struggle with doing ramp phases or or like peace control or stuff like that, well then what the like the last thing you can do is always just wait for them. 95% of players, even if they're lower HP or after they pop minis, they'll make an edit on you if they're boxed up or whatever the case is, if you're boxed up, they'll eventually take your wall and make an edit instantly, right? So if you just wait with your pump shotgun out or your tack shotgun out and just hit a headshot every single time, you're gonna kill them, you're gonna deal a lot of damage. And like I said, unfortunately, sometimes it is kind of a bit of a 50-50 if you just wait with your shotgun out, but if you have high ping, sometimes, like I said, you don't really have much of a choice. You just gotta wait, you kinda gotta see what they're gonna do. If they make an edit or a fake edit, well then you just pump them in the face for 180 and kill them, right? Now obviously it's not that easy all the time, but sometimes if you struggle with the other things and you are high ping, like I said, you just gotta do what you gotta do. So if, hopefully this helped you guys if you guys are on high ping. 
Um, if it did, make sure you slap a like button on this video. Comment what you want to see for a future video. Hit that subscribe button. Use creator code RateThatThat in the item shop. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.